Rescuers went through hell to save these injured orangutans. Photos like these are worth a thousand words. Their absolute dedication and kindness is what makes people heroes. Many of them work at the International Animal Rescue. They've saved countless lives and are still doing it. With the help of volunteers and funds from people all over the world, their stories are sad, but most of them end with rehabilitation and releasing the wildlife. Overcoming the tragedy of the ravaged homes of the orangutans, the rescue group gives them a happy ending. Back in 2013, Siafacitic and Argato ranting, the men in the iconic photo rescued many orangutans after their home was destroyed to make room for palm oil plantations. Two years later, their new home was destroyed again. The new homes of many orangutans were again destroyed two years later after they were finally safe. Liz Key of IAR stated that the rescue team had to contend with smog, smoke, and fires to save the poor animals. But they finally find them new homes. The future of orangutan populations will never be secure without the involvement and commitment of the palm oil industry to protecting sufficient habitat for them to survive and to thrive," added Liz Key. Liz explained that fires in Indonesia should be a wake-up call for the people responsible for allowing devastation and that those people must act to prevent such terrible events. Bornean orangutans are an endangered species. There are only 45 to 69,000 Bornean orangutans in the wild. Their homes were devastated by illegal cutting of trees, fires, mining, and oil palm plantations. In just 60 years, the population has declined by 50%. Among the victims of the fire was an adult male orangutan called Mata, after the name of the village where he was rescued from. His home was decimated by fire, but soon something amazing happened. Mina was rescued from the Tenjunpura village, which was close to the IAR center in Ketapang. These two were among the 50 orangutans saved from the burning forest. This is what the CEO of IAR said. Alan Knight's the CEO of International Animal Rescue. He explains that the team had rescued nearly 50 orangutans from the burnt forest. The National Park provides the prospect of a safe haven for the survivors. Hoping to save the species, Knight continued saying that they're already planning to find a way to cope with further fires during the year ahead and appealing for funds from the public to help us save more orangutans if their forest home is destroyed. The team that reached the burning forest have seen dramatic scenes where apes suffered from the loss of their home. No more trees to live in and no more food meant starvation, and many of the animals would have wasted away. Large orangutans and mothers with their babies were saved from the cremated wilderness. It was time to gather them all, treat them, and release them in a safer habitat one with trees and food. Mata was found by villagers feeding on their banana crop after the forest was turned to ash. Thankfully, instead of hurting him, they called the IAR. When the team came to get him, he was trying to hide under the banana leaves. Gail Campbell-Smith is the program manager of IAR Indonesia. She said that a magnificent orangutan like Mata should be traveling in the top of the canopy, but instead has to drag itself across the ground struggling even to find a standing tree suitable to make a nest. The problem is that if their home is being wiped out, the human-orangutan conflict will also increase. Orangutans are in danger of being killed by farmers as they enter their land in search of food, explained Gail Campbell-Smith. But this much determination and sacrifice from the amazing people at IAR would soon be repaid, says Alan Knight. These orangutans now stand a chance of a new life in a new location. Both Mata and Mina received months of treatment, and they were finally ready to get their new life. After a long drive to the village of Menkilau, they went upstream in boats deep into the jungle. In West Borneo, at the Buka Baka Bukit Raya National Park, Mata and Mina would start a new life, safe from fires and villagers. The rescue team opened the crates and let the orangutans take in the new surroundings. As soon as they saw the cages opening, Mata and Mina jumped to the nearest trees. Finally, they were going to swing from the treetops. This is a momentous event for our team in Indonesia, Alan Knight said. 
Every individual like Mina and Mata counts, and every orangutan that we return to the wild can contribute to the conservation of the population as a whole," said Liz Key. The people of Mangalau and Joy villages celebrated the release with traditional Dayak Ransa tribe ceremonies. IAR Program Director Carmel Llano Sanchez explained that Mentatai is an area in the national park that has a low population of orangutans and it's very far from human settlements, reducing the likelihood of conflict between local communities and orangutans. Please share this with your friends and family.